Hello all of you, welcome to the class. In this video, we are going to understand the interconversion of molecular representation. That means we can convert one molecular representation to another molecular representation. Before going to the topic, let us understand what is molecular representation or representation of molecules or projection formula. Molecular formulas of a molecule give only the elemental composition of the particular molecules. That means how many atoms of each types present in the molecule. Whereas structural formulas of a molecule shows which atoms are bonded in one another. If you see the sp3 hybridized tetrahedral carbon is always three dimensional in nature. Generally it is very difficult to represent a three dimensional structure in a two dimensional paper. The formulas which are used to represent molecules having three dimensional structures on a two dimensional surface are called projection formulas. Using these projection formulas, we can easily understand the particular organic molecules and their stereochemistry. There are generally four molecular representations we have in the stereochemistry. First one is wedge dash representation, second one is Fischer's representation, third one Saha's representation and the last one is Newman representation. Out of them, the flying wedge and Fischer representation methods are most commonly used for two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional structure. So in this video, I am not going to elaborate the flying wedge and Fischer representations. Just I am focusing on the interconversion of one Fischer formula of a molecule to wedge representation. Here, I can divide this topic into two categories. In the first category, let us discuss the molecules which are having a single chiral center. So the molecules which are having single chiral center, which are in Fischer formula, okay, Fischer molecular formula, how to convert them to wedge representation. For example, here there is a molecule called D-lactic acid. D-lactic acid. So this is a Fischer representation of the D-lactic acid where you can observe there is a vertical line and a horizontal line present in this representation. And these two lines are meeting at a point which is called as chiral center or asymmetric center. A center where or which is surrounding or bonded with four different ligands, either atoms or groups is called chiral center. So this chiral center has four different ligands here. So when this molecule having four different ligands, we need to notate or we need to give a notation to this molecule using CAP rules. So using CAP rules, first we have to give the notation to this molecule by giving priorities of the ligands present in the molecule. When I give the priorities based on CAP rules, these three priorities are traveling in anti-clockwise direction where the fourth priority is towards the observer so that's why i just reverse this notation to r lactic acid so that means this d lactic acid is having r absolute configuration now we are going to convert this molecule to wedge representation when you see this molecule in three dimensional way there is a chiral center this chiral center has a carboxylic acid at the top and bottom methyl and left right side you have OH and left side you have H right so when you see the Fischer representation there is a chiral center and this chiral center the vertical line substituents always away from the observer and the horizontal substituents or ligands are near to the observer if you observe this molecule carefully in three dimensional way these two which are in horizontal line are out of the plane okay these two are out of the plane and there are two ligands that means top COOH and bottom CH3 they are in plane you can observe these two are in plane that means they are touching the plane so now we can see this molecule in two different ways to convert this to wedge representation so that means observer can look this molecule either from right side 
are he can observe from the left side right so in the both ways observer can see the COOH and the CH3 are in plane that means they are touching the plane and this H and OH are out of the plane that means when the observer is observing from the right side this OH is, which is near to the observer when the observer is observing from the left side of this molecule the hydrogen is near to the observer right that means this molecule observer can view in two ways that is from right side and from left side first we will see this molecule and we will observe this molecule from right side when you observe this molecule from right side you can see this molecule in three dimensional way the COOH and the CH3 are in plane so that's why I am just drawing these two are in plane when the observer is observing from the right side he can see the COOH from right side and you can see this CH3 from left side so the CH3 in left side and COOH3 you can write in right side and uh, there are two ligands OH and H which are out of the plane so observer can view one ligand that is OH from the near to the observer or above the plane so I can draw this OH which is near to the observer so and obviously the fourth ligand H is away from the observer so when you are changing the inter that means when you are interconverting this fissure to wedge you should not forget to get the inversion of the configuration so we started the R configuration of the D-lactic acid in fissure so that when you convert this to wedge form it should be having the same configuration so give the CAP rules sequence rules so when you give this after giving priorities this is traveling towards clockwise direction and fourth priority is away from the observer so that means this molecule is R configuration so the same molecule observer can look from the left side also so when he when he looks from the left side again the COOH and CH3 are in plane and H is near and OH is away from the observer you can see this molecule observer when he looks from the left side he can see these two COOH and CH3 are in plane so you can see I can draw this in plane and the COOH which is left side and CH3 which is right side and observer when he looks from the left side the hydrogen which is near to the observer and OH which is away from the observer now we need to identify the absolute configuration which gives you anti-clockwise direction but the fourth priority hydrogen is near to the observer so it is R configuration so in this way we can easily convert the fissure representation to wedge representation in the same way we can also convert this L alanine and D alanine both enantiomers from fissure to wedge representation for example if I have L alanine L alanine this L alanine I can convert to this wedge representation first of all I have to understand that the vertical line ligands are present in the plane and the horizontal lines are near to the observer and they are out of the plane so observer can look this molecule from both ways now you can look this molecule from right side either right side or you can look from this left side so observer if he looks from the right side so he can see the COOH and the CH3 both are in plane and uh, from the right side the observer can view the COOH right side and CH3 is left side and H which is near to the observer whereas NH2 which is away from the observer likewise observer when he looks from the left side so same way the COOH and CH3 are in, in plane and COOH which is left side and CH3 which is right side whereas NH2 which is near to the observer and H is away from the observer now we should not change the configuration so 1 2 3 
fourth it is going clockwise direction but fourth priority that means fourth ligand which is near to the observer so we have to change this to s configuration so it is l alanine which is s alanine okay likewise you can also check the absolute configuration for another wedge representation which is as as usual it is going anti clockwise direction and the fourth priority is in away uh, sorry away from the observer so it is also s configuration so when we are converting this fisher representation to wedge we should not uh, change the or we should not invert the absolute configuration always we have to keep it in mind likewise you can also convert the d alanine from the fisher representation to wedge representation there is another trick to convert this uh, fisher representation to wedge which is which the molecule having only one chiral center here that is so first we need to observe this fisher representation and always keep the fourth ligand fourth ligand in the vertical line for example first we need to give the cip priority to this molecule you can see the fourth priority is in horizontal line so this for fourth priority always keep the bottom of this vertical line so to keep this fourth priority to the bottom we need to interchange we need to interchange ligands that means we need to do the two interchanges of these two ligands so when you do the two interchanges so that you won't uh, invert the configuration if you do one interchange then automatically it inverts the configuration so i am doing two interchanges here so h ch3 and oh coh so this one is r lactic acid and here when i change this i also get the same r configuration so keep this molecule now fisher representation after interchanges now we can easily convert this to wedge representation you can see this oh and ch3 just they can draw them in plane oh ch3 and the bottom ligand keep always away from the observer or bottom and this horizontal one coh keep always near to the observer now you can give the priorities 1 2 3 4 it is going clockwise direction and fourth ligand is away from the observer so it is our configuration so in this way this is also one kind of simple trick to convert this fisher representation to wedge representation where the molecule has one chiral center here likewise you can take different kind of uh, uh, molecules which are in fisher you can convert them to wedge representation using this way thank you in the next video we are going to understand the conversion of fisher representation where the molecules have more than one chiral center to wedge representation that we will see in the next video thank you